don't you help? If since you know so much, you got so much, help us. But what you look at, but you see, you don't want to help because see, you want glorification. Look what I did. See, I, I did such and such, and I did. I'm talking, I don't want you to praise me. I don't need your glorification. I'm speaking the way I speak because somebody did it for me. A woman protected and raised me up in this world and brought me into existence. But it was a man. But it was a man that put that spark of knowledge in my head to put me on the journey to what manhood really supposed to be about. And it's not about beating up on no woman. You don't want to help these young boys. And you don't even want to talk to them. Because you're scared of them. And they don't respect y'all tired black men. They don't respect you because they can just meet you and in a few minutes they see that you're weak and pathetic. Because I know that's how I view you. That's why, and you know that you're weak and pathetic. That's why you hide behind a picture. Because you know that you're weak and pathetic. Tacky. So I want to bring this talk in conclusion. When you're talking about somebody, y'all woman bashing. you makes me want to throw up. When you decide that you want to talk about somebody, make sure you clean up your own house first. Because why are you talking about how black women ain't no God and, and, and the black women do this and the black women do that? What about your own damn house? What about men? What about the black male? Because if you were anything like what you claim to be, then the women would not be the way they are. They are a reflection of your failure. Just like you say that the children that these black women uh, are raising are, are, are low grade. They are a reflection of her and her silly mentality. Then the women are a reflection of you. Whether you like it or not. And it's because you said that you are a defender and you are a protector, but you have failed. You don't want to accept the responsibility just like the white man don't want to accept the responsibility for what they have done to us. The problem here is that you want to attempt to keep the black woman down. You want to make mockery of these black women so that you can look good. Because if the woman is given equality, if the woman is given the same rights, the benefits as the male, you are afraid that she will surpass you. Because you pay it the male, the black man, or males in general, have put themselves on this level and make themselves superior. I'm the leader. I'm supreme. So you want to do everything that you can to try to keep women down. Same thing with black and white. The racist Caucasian people Desire a society to keep black people in a slave-like condition because they have put themselves on such a high level they are superior. But they know if given the opportunity, given the same type of opportunity and rights and privileges equal, that's why they have made us up 
equal, but if we are ever to may be made equal, we will do just as well as they do, if not better. And you are afraid of the black woman. It's fear. Because we have built the black male so high and mighty. You want to try to keep the black woman and the women down. Because you know. And they prove all the time. If you give them the opportunity, they will be just as good, if not better than you. Not just talking about, now physically, you know it's impossible. But as far as a lot of other things are concerned, they can raise their children just as good as you can. They can drive a car just as good as you can. They can work a job as just good as you can. But see, if you, if you really were seeking about equality in the human being, you wouldn't trip off of it. I don't care if a woman make more money than me. It's all going to the same household. My check, her check, our checks going to the same household. So what's the problem? The problem is you have this fictional fantasy garbage made by religion. The man is the leader. The man. So what have you led us to, man? What are you leading? You been. We've been here for 400 years. We still struggling. Black power, hotel, still doing the same damn stuff. And the women haven't progressed no further because they've been waiting on the great black hope. But see them. Why are you going to continue to wait on these men, uh, black women? They tired from doing nothing. The racist Caucasian people are not impressed by them. You should not be either. The woman is in a position... She is in a position to give you what you want. But you don't want to, you're not smart enough to take advantage of it because you want to be the one to get the glory. Because you think the man is supposed to do this and the man, you're not in the position. But she is. She's in, she's, in this white man society in key and critical positions, she also is in control and in, in a key position to control your children. It is better that you make her equal and you become partners instead of trying to run something that you have been proven for all this time you are not capable of. And see, the Caucasian people did this on purpose. And if you were smart, you would you would take the gun, his own weapon, his own take his own trick, and make it backfire on his ass. And raise your woman. But see, he knows that you have been brainwashed in religion. And religion is going to keep you in a, in a mentality to try to attempt to keep the woman down. Because you have the same mentality as the oppressor. Brothers and sisters, in my conclusion. In religion, it says that you are supposed to be in this world. But not of this world. You're thinking like the world. And the former things shall pass away. This type of thinking. You must make it pass out of your mind. It is keeping you a slave. 
because religious teachings, the core, the very fabric of it, is to make slaves out of people. Whether you like it or not. And you're going to always be upset. Because these women, this female, is getting stronger and stronger all the time. I refuse to be a slave. I'd rather be by my damn self. I still have my children. Because y'all stupid men, y'all are sex addicts. You're stupid. Can't control yourself. So you're going to give me your damn sperm. I still be a mother and I'm going on about my business and I'm going to leave y'all tacky ass men behind. And that's the way women should think. Keep moving on. Use these bugs for sperm and roll out. They're not worth nothing else. I want to be leader. I want to be leader. Well, be step up to the plate and be competent. Live up to the criteria that you set for yourself. Defend the family, defend the woman, defend your children. Create a nation that you can call your own. Spend money with your face on it instead of your oppressor's face. Earn your respect. Not because you got a penis. Earn it. Because I got a penis. I'm the leader. I'm the household. That ain't how that works. Because you feel you leader. Your first day on the job, you want to be CEO of Bush Beer Incorporated. That's not how it works. You have to prove yourself to be a chief executive officer, president of the United States. You have to prove yourself. Somebody got to vote for you. I ain't going to vote for you because we see that you're incompetent. Just because I got a penis, I'm the leader. No! You got to qualify. And these children don't respect you because they see that you don't qualify. And, the, and their mothers don't respect you because you damn sure don't qualify. The only thing you qualified for was putting sperm in a glass or being a sperm donor. Five minutes of pleasure. That's all you ever was. You ain't about nothing. Tired. Black man. So, you run to Asian woman. You run to everybody. You want your white woman. Anything except a black woman. And when the when it's all said and done, even those women don't want your ass. Because they get sick of you. You run to the white woman. You run to some Asian woman. You do all this out of spite. But the next thing you know, your ass is in divorce court or you are in the morgue because that white woman has shot you in your damn head. That Asian woman that did some kung fu <laughs> on you. A woman is a woman. Makes no difference. Some women will let you be their slave master. But now the woman is coming into herself. Whether you like it or not, just like black people. We're sick of being the white man's bitch. I know I am. I don't know about you. But I know I am. And this woman is tired of being a bitch too. And a hoe and a slut. She wants better and she's rising. She wants to return back to her nature. Because messing around with incompetent. Arrogant, egotistical males made her unnatural. Got her, the man got her aborting her babies. The man got her a stripper. The man made her a hoe. The man made her a prostitute. It's because of men. She didn't do that on her own because she was denied rights. Denied to do things for herself because she's a female. Just like black people. We have been denied certain things based solely on the color of our, of our skin. And so has the woman been denied rights. How can you woman continue to evolve, involve yourself in religion that don't like you? It wants you to be a slave. God, the real 
God, your creator, the mother, didn't bring you into existence to be somebody's slave. Nobody. Nobody don't own you. Nobody's your damn leader of the household. You are a reflection of the universe. You carry the womb. You carry life. Ain't no man can carry nothing. He's a destroyer of life. He's a warmonger. Macho. Arrogant. Egotistical. That's not you. As you rise, don't become like this male. That hide behind pictures on YouTube. Pathetic things. Sorrowful creatures. Cowards. Beat up on women. But scared of another man. <laughs> and you really expect somebody to respect and honor you. I don't. I will stand with the woman. Because I understand she has been made unnatural. And if I can do whatever I can to help bring her back to her nature. There's no power that can stop her because she's the life giver. And you, male, you're not. You are her helpmate. You are her defender. You are the defender of the universe. And the universe is the womb. And the woman is the one who is the symbol of that womb. Because without her, you would never have come into existence to begin with. She's the life bringer. She makes and brings life. The life giver. And if you was a real man, then you would, then you would defend her at all costs. And you would do that which to bring her back into her nature. So the woman can bring life into a world. Full of murder, rape, and other violence. The root cause created by the male who has gone berserk. Power hungry. And that's what you want. Glorify me, woman. Because the black man is God. And God needs a servant. Who's going to serve me? The woman. No. You don't really want equality. You want a slave. I don't want no woman to be a slave. I don't want my mother to be my slave. I don't want my sisters to be my slave. I want my girlfriend, my wife, my mother, my auntie. I want us equal. We live together. We fight together. We survive together. And we die together. Do you understand? Sisters, I'm so happy to see many of you are trying to find yourself. You're not a whore. You're not a prostitute. You're not a baby killer and all these different things. You've been taken out of your nature by living in a society that is unnatural and exploitive and abusive towards you. Just like black folks, we as a people, we are not ourselves. We've been living with somebody that hates our guts and don't want to see us do our best. These men don't want you, black woman, to be at your best. They want you to be at your worst. They want you an alcoholic. They want you a drunkard. They want you a dope fiend. They want you out of your nature so they can be the leader. Leading you to what? Leaving you to... Slavery. That's what it's all about. Who are going to be whose slave? You want a good woman. What is a good woman? A good woman is somebody who stay home and cook and they clean and they feed the dog and all this other crazy stuff. Those are equal. How is it equal? You're not equal. That's slave activity. You are not a slave. And 
And, and, if, and if your God wants you to be that way, you need to leave that God and tell that God to go to hell. You're not nobody's slave. These pitiful men call women bitches. They ain't no more, they ain't nobody no worse being a bitch than these things. Ice T had a song, a rap song, and it, and it's not very popular. But Ice T had a song not too long ago. Said men are bitches too. They don't like to hear that, cause you are. And a and a bitch is a female dog. And a dog is a man's best friend. And that's what you have become to this racist Caucasian, cause you you adopted. His racist mentality, but instead of being prejudiced against black folks, which some of y'all are, you become prejudiced and biased towards your own woman. Because you his bitch, you his slave. I want you to bring it to me. Oh yeah. See, you'll beat up on women, but you won't, you won't bring it to another man. I want you to. Don't be cussing, vulgar. Bring a decent conversation to me so I can whoop your ass. Because I can whoop the ass of any slave. This mind is free. And that's what I want for you, sisters. And women in general, you got to get yourself free. But as long as you hold on to those religious teachings, they're going to keep you in a subservient position. But at the same time, y'all equal. How are you equal when the man is the head of household? That's what they say. How are they equal? It's supposed to be the man, the parents are the head of household, not the man. Because they're looking for a slave. They are, they, these tired black men are upset with you, sister, because they, you are fighting to stay free. They want you to be a slave so they can have sex with you anytime they feel like it and do anything they want to and you don't say nothing. All they used to do is say, yes, sir, sir. And that's how some of y'all sisters are when it comes to these old pitiful ass men. Yes, brother Firecon. Yes, so and so. And uh, y'all act like little slaves. These men have done nothing to earn you to be, to make it so that you serve them. Well, actually, you're serving God. I don't see no, I don't see no God. These are flesh and blood men. That you bowing down to. And you should not even serve no God. What has this God done for you lately? We have been here in America for 400 years. Look at our condition. Look what kind of man this God give you. He can't even defend you. What has this man done for you? Does this man no schools for your children? No land so that you can grow your own crops. No cows, no chickens, no toilet paper. They sing and they dance for the white man. And then all the money they get, they give right back to the oppressor. Anybody can come into your neighborhood and rape the black woman. Shoot down your sons and your daughters in the street like they dogs. black man wants respect and honor because he's got a penis. I'll cut your penis off. I'll be just like that Lorraine Babbitt with a Lorraine Bobbitt chick. I'll cut your damn penis off. Then, then, what are you, then you won't be a man no more because you won't have no penis. Because that's the only thing that makes you a leader because you got a penis. Yeah. Stop falling for this religion stuff. It means you no good. 
It is slavery. I don't care if it's Islam. I don't care if it's Christianity. All the religions keep woman, keep the female in a subservient position. When we are all supposed to be equal. I'm not supposed to be better than you. I don't claim to be better than nobody. I don't claim to be smarter. I don't claim those things. Because I see us as an equal. I have a talent. I do my thing. But my thing is not better than your thing. Do we want equality or do we want slavery? It's one or the other. And at this time, we are all slaves. The women are slaves to a lot of these old pitiful, tired black men. Or we as a people are still acting and behaving like slaves to the racist Caucasian people. I want to be free once and for all. I don't want to serve the white man and I don't want to serve no gods either. This is my life. I want to enjoy it myself. Tired of working hard for, for the benefit of somebody else. Give them the glory. You deserve your own glory. You deserve honor yourself. What's wrong with that? Your hard work. You gonna give it, give the credit to some God. You run out to the store and go in debt and give your children Christmas presents and Santa Claus, a fat, sloppy white guy, get all the credit. Come on. There's nothing wrong with you. Getting a little glory. There's nothing wrong with you having some credit. For doing positive and good things. What's wrong with that? And then the children look at their parents and say, Woo, I want to be like them. Them. Not like him. Not like her. The children look to their parents and say, I want to be like them. Together, equal. That's what we should be striving for. And once, and once we begin to think like that, all our relationship problems will start dwindling. Even the nerd like myself and others. Then you won't be complaining because the woman's mentality will start changing. So she won't be so materialistic. She won't be so tripping on how you look so much. Because none of us will be tripping off physical, material things like we were. This is things that we have adopted by living in this material, greedy ass, oppressive type situation or condition. You don't see animals running around or you don't. Now, you do still have to qualify. You still have to show that you are strong. You, I mean, you still have to qualify to be a good husband, a good wife. You still are qualified. Show that you got your skills together. But a lot of these other little knickknacks, we're going to get rid of them. So more and more people, we can come together, male and female, so we can be happy. Don't y'all want to be happy? Instead of complaining about the tired black man, the tired black woman, and the white people are tired of black folks complaining about them. Ain't everybody tired? <laughs> Woo! So if we're going to be tired, then let us solve the problem. But you're not going to solve the problem if you're not honest about what's the cause of the problem and you're not honest with what you're doing to make the problem worse. Do you understand? That goes for black men, it goes for black women, it goes for the children, it goes for the white folks, and all of us who are human beings. Let us deal with our situation open and honest. The first place we need to start is with ourselves. And if you can't get yourself together, you can suggest and give advice. But don't be talking about other people till you get yourself straightened out. And a lot of us we know we have problems. We far from being straightened out. Because I know I have a lot of problems. 
So what I'm offering is suggestions and a defense for my mother and mothers. I'm defending the womb because that womb is what brought me into existence and that womb is what brings us life. And will continue to take us into other periods of time. And life, not only life, but that womb gives us love. And that love brings caring. And mama, if nobody else will, when she is in her right state of mind, mama cares and loves us. So in behalf and in speaking, representing mama, as I am her secret service, I am her defender, then I'm telling you that Mama loves us and wants the best for us. Mama loves the black woman, loves the tired black men and all humanity. We got to get ourselves together. But let us step up to the plate and be open and honest. And bring respect back home. And stop talking about your mom. Thank you for listening. This is your brother Talik Ibn Ra. This was Peace Forever and Always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Your host is his divine masculine brother Administer Talik Ibn Rad. Let's go.